Take a look at this video from Castle Rock. You can see just how much flooding that drivers oh. were dealing with. Uh, this video is a good reminder to never try to drive through high water like this. Water can be much deeper than you expect, and driving through it could put you at risk. Also now, areas across the Front Range are bracing for another chance of severe weather this afternoon. Here we go again. Denver 7's Micah Smith is in Castle Rock with a look at the safety concerns yesterday's flooding caused. Not only are we seeing flooding, but we're seeing structural damage as well. I want to show you this hole in a retaining wall on Castle Gate Drive. Water was spewing from it, causing the road to be shut down and making flooding problems in the South Metro even worse. Another place that had quite a bit of flooding is Centennial. We got this video in from Lowen Engineering showing water pouring into the street. This happened around 4 p.m. on Monday in Centennial, just north of Foxfield. First responders in Foxfield not only had to deal with flooding, but a pretty large fire as well. The South Metro Fire Department tweeted out this video from Foxfield where lightning struck a natural gas line. This happened on East Hinsdale Avenue. Firefighters had to work with XL Energy to shut the gas line off. Thankfully, no one was hurt and no homes were in danger. However, the road remained closed for several hours. Now back here in Castle Rock, we're learning that this isn't the first time this retaining wall has been damaged. A storm just last year did the same thing. Developers had to replace it and uh, now it's been damaged again. So it looks like they may have to come out and do a few more repairs to make sure that this is solid again and safe for drivers. Reporting in Castle Rock, Micah Smith, Denver 7. You know, right before we saw Micah, we saw that video of that car driving through that high water. It's, mm -hmm. it's not a problem until it is, and then it's too late oftentimes. Exactly. And again, we've issued a first alert action day for the risk of very strong storms, showers. We're already seeing billowing clouds across the Denver area and moisture moving in from the foothills and very active radar picture at this hour. 1106 this morning and into the mountains and foothills continued rain is likely through the second half of the day as well. And then some widespread storm activity across the metro area front range and plains. Temperatures outside right now are cooler than normal in the low 60s. Winds are calm, but pressure is rising slightly. As we go throughout the next couple of hours, do expect the storm chances to increase. Two o'clock here in Denver will be at 68 degrees. Scattered storms likely the biggest threat, though, with these ones. The risk of severe weather is not as high as yesterday, but could be still seeing pockets of moderate to heavy rainfall, very gusty winds. So just uh, be prepared for some wet weather through the afternoon. As we go throughout the day, here's our future cast. Continue Continued rainfall through the late afternoon, gradually clearing skies though for tomorrow, and we have a big warm up on the way. I'll have more on the warmer, drier weather coming up in just a few, Molly.